Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and like I said this week we are going to have several videos to help you understand how you stay safe on a computer and you know a lot of these tips can actually apply to other platforms your smartphone for example because the rules stay pretty much the same everywhere you can get infected on an Android phone you can get infected on your PC, a Mac. You can even, in some cases, get infected on an iPad or an iPhone. It's uh, possible. And this video will actually explain that after a human um, you know, error, after what you do on your PC, you know, not downloading uh, crap software or clicking on everything you see, or opening attachments you don't know where they come from or what they are. The first line of defense after the user is updates. I still, as of this June 2019, hear people and have comments here of people saying, I don't update my Windows system. Yeah, that's the best way to really get infected and get problems because updates are really a big chunk of your security whether you like it or not and you know I, I hear people complaining about Microsoft but the updates the security updates uh, on patch Tuesday they are essential to keep your system safe turning off Windows update is not a good idea never was and never will be so the most important updates are the ones that are called Patch Tuesday updates, or what Microsoft likes to refer to as Security Tuesday. That is the second Tuesday of every month. If you can remember that, you'll know that every second Tuesday of the month, we got updates for security. So today we are Tuesday, June 4th, the first Tuesday of the month. That means next week, Tuesday, June 11th, is going to be Patch Tuesday updates. Of course, I always talk about it because Patch Tuesday updates are essential to keep your system safe. Why? They fix security flaws. You might think, well, you know, oh yeah, it's Windows and security flaws everywhere. It's not just Windows. Every operating system has security holes. Every single. A Mac computer has tons of them. And every month there are tons of updates on the Mac side to fix the security holes that bad guys could exploit and infect a Mac with. It's not a Windows thing. It's every operating system that exists has security holes that need to be fixed. It's an ongoing war between bad guys and, you know, the user. So update your PC with the latest security patches. It's very important. That keeps you safe. But there's more to it. There are updates elsewhere. When you use your browser, if you use Google Chrome, the majority of you are using Google Chrome, make sure that you update the browser because every new version of Google Chrome adds, in some cases, new features, but most people don't really care about the features. They just want to use the browser and to stay safe while well, each new version of the browser Firefox, um, Chrome, Opera, uh, Edge, they all have security patches. And in many cases, there are some security patches with minor updates within Google Chrome, for example, or uh, browsers. But there's also tons of security fixes every time there's a new version. So when Chrome updates to a new version, well, it's not a bad idea to update your Chrome browser to the new version because you also get tons of security fixes that you know bad guys can be exploiting and you know some of these fixes actually kind of have a double protection because you have security updates in Windows but if you haven't done them sometimes the browser has updated security issues that actually mitigate or lower the chances of a Windows flaw of being exploited and that happens quite often, actually. Any other software you use daily, 
or every week. Make sure that you check from time to time. Do they have a new version? Did they, you know, issue a fix for something? Because ver uh, there's a lot of, you know, bad guys notice that Microsoft is doing a pretty good job at blocking everything and fixing the issues quite fast. So they have to use a different way of infecting. And that different way is, oh, well, let's try to have updates, uh, have, you know, hacks into the software that people use every day. That's why Flash Player is such a uh, problem. Flash Player has so many security flaws that every month we actually get a Flash Player update. Now, that comes part of the, of the uh, operating system, so at least that's good. But maybe you're using Adobe Reader for PDF files. It, too, gets updates for security. You don't update it? Well, people out there, bad guys, can do a malformed PDF that will actually inject code and run on your system, and then you got malware or ransomware. Every single piece of software you've got should update and should have updates, and um, you should check for updates just to stay on the safe side. So I know it's a big chunk, and I know it's a lot, but it is really important to update all that you use on a PC and make sure that you're always running the latest version of the operating system, the browser, and the different software you use all the time. This blocks more than 90% of all the attempts to infect your machine because a lot of the malware will search for a hole and when you update everything well the holes are often actually closed down and the malware just can't get in so when you apply updates and you are careful with your own way of using your PC those two things together you're getting real close to a hundred percent rate of being safe and having no problems of malware viruses and so on on your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.